And now it's time for Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's talk hookup. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, Corey Sandin, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hookup is sponsored in part by Royal Polaris, the world's finest long-range sports fisher. By Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup and Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best, Shimano. Get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hookup, Pete Gray, Rock God Rick Maxa, and Corey Sandin. Good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Ain't Pete Gray with Rock God Rick Maxa back in the studio with us here in the world headquarters of Let's Talk Hookup here right next to the San Diego Landings in Point Loma. We have a great show for you today. We have the brothers here today. Captain Ali Husseini from BD Outdoors, FishDope.com, and Local Knowledge is here. And a, a list of other stuff, too. We get too many numerous dimensions. And Yosef Husseini, the Angler's Realtor, is here, too. So stay tuned. This is Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. Everyone has their go-to fishing spot. My spot is Kingfisher Charters in Sitka, Alaska. Rock Cod Rick here to say if you're looking for the ultimate Alaska experience and the best value in Alaska... It's Kingfisher Charters. Owner Seth Bone and his crew consistently deliver deluxe accommodations, the finest food, world-class fish processing, and top-of-the-line fishing experience. We've literally sent hundreds of our listeners to Kingfisher, and they all can't wait to go back. Most Alaska resorts make big promises, and they don't deliver, or they'll nickel and dime you to drive up the cost, but not Kingfisher. Everything is included. Your license, fish processing, super deluxe accommodations, amazing food, airport transfers, your gear, literally all you need to bring is your layer clothing and Kingfisher covers the rest. They also have the finest boats and charter captains in Sitka, all for the ultimate value. Take it from me, book your trip to Kingfisher Charters and you'll thank me. Kingfisher Charters, 800-727-6136 or check kingfishercharters.com. Want to take your catch from fresh to superior grade? This is Robbie Gant from AFCO. We developed the tools for the EKG mate process. Circuit Breaker is specially designed to disable the full length of the fish's spinal cord. The memory-resistant wire of AFCO Circuit Breaker will not bend or kink, even after repeated use. Take your fish care to the next level with Circuit Breaker by AFCO. Available at a dealer near you or check out AFCO.com. Like Robbie said, take your fish care to the next level with Circuit Breaker by AFCO. Check AFCO.com or your favorite tackle retailer. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup, man. Good to be back. Good to be in the studio, and what a perfect yeah. day to come with the boys here. It's going to be a lot of fun. Great to have you. How was Hawaii? Hawaii was awesome. Yeah, man. Really and the good. kids? Super fun. It was different. It was challenging. Uh, I can imagine. You know, I've only done Hawaii like later in life. Like I only know that place as the super mellow, relax, go hang out with your girl and have drinks on the beach and do nothing, and this trip was far from that. <laughs> uh, with having both the boys there, but it was so rad. And, you know, Easter egg hunts and the whole nine, and the kids had a blast, and we, we loved it. It was awesome. Great trip. That's awesome. That's that's fantastic. And uh, uh, we missed you here, but uh, big day tomorrow, day at the docks, Man. right? You got a little full day today setting up the tackle store? Shop's crazy, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're really pumped. It's going to be another big one. And this is always fun. Day at the docks is like the celebration of sport fishing. And there's a lot of boats. I think this will be a really unique one because there's so many boats that, like, just had to grind through boat work this year because the fish have been early for the last few years in a row. This year, certainly no exception with that great bluefin fishing we've already had, but there's a lot of guys that got all their maintenance done, and a normal day at the dock sees a lot of guys that aren't ready, and so there'll be a lot of boats in this year. Yeah. Obviously, the fishing's already been happening, so the excitement level's real high, and it's like the last big sale opportunity before the season is really rolling. And, I mean, anytime day at the docks happens with good fishing, which is going on right now, like it's, it's always a big one, and I think this year's going to be a monster. Yeah, it should be should be a great day. We're, of course, going to be broadcasting live from 7 to 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, and we'll have a Let's Talk Hookup booth, uh, uh, so one of our rare appearances as far as live broadcast nowadays, and, and a booth appearance, hey, too. right so on. We'll have uh, some incredible deals on closeout clothing that we have, uh, kind of back stock, and yeah. uh, like up to 50%, 50, more than 50% off on stuff, and T-shirts, we'll have T-shirts 
shirts and stuff like that. So uh, Gary and Tommy are coming down, so uh, we'll have a, a full contingent of uh, Let's Talk Hookup crew out there. So uh, join us tomorrow, uh, 7 to 9 a.m. for the live broadcast, and then, of course, Day at the Docks will uh, we'll be there tomorrow. And good morning to the brothers. What's up, boys? Yosef What's going on, guys? Ali. What's, What's happening? What's happening, guys? Yeah, yeah. So first of all, Yosef, um, the real estate market's starting to – Starting to crank a little bit, huh? It is definitely. Yeah. yeah. For probably about six weeks now, it's just been off the hinges again. No yeah. kidding. Yeah. That's great news. Well, it's- when San Diego has the highest increase in, pro- in in home values in the country, I'd say people, that turns heads, right? It definitely does. Yeah. And all those first-time buyers are getting back into the game. Mm-hmm. California's come up with a new plan. Um, it's kind of a... You go into business basically with the state. It's a first-time buyer program, uh, nothing down. The state will give you up to 20%, and you kind of go into business with them on that 20%. What? Yeah. When you refinance it or you sell it, they take 20% of the gains from that money. Oh, oh no kidding. Really? So they're like your partner. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Your partner enough. So that the state. gives the opportunity for people that can't afford a house in Southern California. It's kind of a win win, you know. Yeah. The, you, then the state smart has more deal, funds for smart, programs. Yeah. Smart game on the Cal- state of California. Definitely. Amazing. You don't uh, say that yeah. Very amazing. Often. Yeah, so yeah, exactly. Yeah, Cal yeah. Uh, and, um Cal Hafa and the state just have been really putting stuff together because it's so hard to get into a home now, especially yeah. if you know you're in a middle income bracket. And yeah, you have right. kids and food is so expensive. Yeah, so you're yeah, trying really, to come up with an extra couple hundred grand, which is what it takes these days, like to even to even get your foot in the door. How nice it is that there's a program that maybe not eliminates that, but gets real close to it. Well, you're putting twenty percent down, you know, so now you're competitive as well. You're right. Yeah, with everybody else that's coming in with. 20% in their bank account. That's cool. Yeah. Now, are there still some affordable houses around? Um, yes you, no. Like, relatively <laughs> speaking, <laughs> California? It matters what part of town you're in. Um, like, City Heights, that area, even North Park is a little soft right now. Oh. And at least in the multifamily markets, right. um, single family over North Park, you, you know, Forget there's just it, expensive. Right? Forget yeah. about it. When they pop up, they're gone. Yeah. But the multifamily market's gotten a little soft. It's a good time for investments as the rate's coming down. Um, I just saw a rate sheet come over at 5.99. Oh, wow. so okay. no kidding. All right. It's yeah. getting there. Things are yeah. happening. Yeah. yeah. Good for you, man. And and you specialize in in uh, working with anglers. Like, I mean, I you do. Uh, like a lot of the captains here you've worked with and uh, and I found have. them homes and uh, 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 anglers that listen to Let's Talk Hook Up, you've helped them get into houses and stuff. I've had multiples. That's kind yeah. of your deal, right? Yep. I think I closed four last year. Um, and I have one in escrow right now. For from, angler, just from the show. Just from the show, yeah. Yeah, straight Anglers. straight from the show, people calling in and you know, calling me off of there. And nice. I've got a whole list of people that I just kinda keep up with, you yeah. know. That's good. And make relationships and it works out well. It's like a different group of people. They all yeah. everybody will work with you, That's cool. you know, and they, they trust me for from hearing me on the show and just you right. know, knowing and well, in what, touch what about with, with your with your brother? Though? They still I mean, trust you. Still trust you. Yeah, yeah. That with Ali, I don't yeah. trust me. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta fight that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's not a huge hurdle. Yeah. Though, you know? No, no. That's yeah. awesome. and, and you're a fisherman, and and you just got yep. back from Palma de Cortez and showed us a picture of this. How big was that Dorado, man? That thing was huge. It was it's twenty-three big as, and a half pounds. Big as your son, huh? Pretty much. How old is he? He is seven, just about to be eight. And he caught his first Dorado at Palmas last week. Yeah. He did it all wow. on his own. We, that was last Thursday. Last That's Thursday. So yeah. How yeah. was it down in the East Cape? Oh, God, it was beautiful. Oh, a little God. windy when we first got there, and yeah. then it just calmed down. Nice. You know, we did one ATV in. We went out on the Don Julio for a day. Those oh, guys are great. great. Oh, those guys are great. Yeah, our yeah. buddies, we were supposed to have a Cabo. We had two Cabos reserved, you know, their nicest boats. Sure. And one of them uh, lost a motor. Ah. And so they show up in the morning with Don Julio. And or Don Julio Cito, the smaller one. Uh huh. And that thing's nice, man, for yeah. a cruiser. Oh, and yeah. we crushed it. The other boat caught nothing. Yeah. Ah, there you uh, go. They caught brown sharks. A brown, oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, just, oh, one of our Great. favorite things again. Yeah, right? Exactly. Brown shark. It, that, 
That was pretty much, uh, as soon as it hit about noon, the brown sharks were all over everything. Yeah, so uh, so I saw uh, a post on uh, Facebook uh, the other day, I don't know if you guys saw that, of a guy catching a yellowtail off the beach at the pier at Palmas de Cortez last week. Oh, I did. No, that's, um, sure. that's rad. We caught a bunch of jacks. I mean, the jacks were schooling like crazy. Yeah, yeah I've got some jacks probably up to 25 pounds. That's cool. Normal deal down that's there. That's awesome. Yeah. Speaking of which, um, kind of big news is uh, Chris. Chris from uh, Chris Moyer from the East Cape Smokehouse and Smokies, uh, he just bought Vaquera, oh, and cool. which is a thirty-five Cabo yeah. that used to be Gen Ren, and it's got a Sea Keeper in it. So yeah, he's going to be running that out of and, and as a charter boat out of, as cool. a charter boat out of there. Yeah. So and uh, Diego, who's the uh, who's one of the best captains down there, is yeah. going to run it for him. So that's awesome. Yeah. Dude. So I'm uh, happy for Chris. And yeah. So that'll be uh, something you're going to hear cool more ride. about here soon. Yeah, for sure. Ollie, what's going on with you? I don't think I fish anymore. Yeah. <laughs> you just work, right? I know the Dude, feeling. Right? Work about we- fishing. This weather sucks. Yeah. Like, it's depressing. Yeah. I'm just waiting for somebody to flip the switch, you know? Yeah. Like, it, like this this storm that we just finished was like... It's like it was like being in Alaska, right? Dude, it's so, it was 41 when I left the house, and it's April now. Like, it's mid-April. We're not talking about February and March. It's I'm just jonesing to get out. We did a little cod fishing this week, and it was slower. A lot of bait, a lot of po- those pyrosome things, you know, and they just oh, were super fired up to bite. Yeah. you got to keep jumping spots. But, uh, no, I'm like, i got a brand-new boat. I'm all fired up. I'm ready to go. I what do you got, have? i got a brand-new 39 contender fish around. Wow. That's a cool ride. Yeah, really what, nice. What's powering it? Uh, uh, triple 400 Mercs. The oh, new, is that all? The new V10. It's so fast, dude. It goes over 70 miles an hour and has a oh, microwave. Get out of here. Oh, it has a microwave, 70. too. Se- seven, what, 73 burritos. miles an hour. Oh, my Oh, my God. God. Flying. <laughs> Flying. Wow. Yeah, I think, I don't know. The, I, I, the biggest thing I miss from going to the center consoles is having the cabin. You know what I mean? Having yeah, the sure. microwave, having the storage, having a fridge so you aren't, yeah. you know, you're, you've got your food and all that stuff's handled and the head and all that. So this kind of combines the two. That's it's cool. a 39 foot center console with a, I mean, a big cabin in the middle yeah. of it. Yeah. So yeah, I think it's gonna be gonna be really good. Got my sea keeper in there. Got my, nice. you know, which sea keeper do you put? In? Uh, that's got a three. That's got a three. Yeah, it's got wow. a three in it. So is it still battery power? The three? It is. Yeah, yeah. up to the three is battery powered, and then above that, they're all uh, they're AC powered. Did you put the new ride system in? Uh, so they don't have one big enough yet. Oh. Um, okay. I did that same demo you were talking yeah, about. Yeah. Honestly, when impressive. ride came around, I was like, eh, whatever. Exactly. Dude, it's trim tabs. And then I rode in that boat, and the weather was not nice yeah it blew my mind it's pretty amazing dude it blew if you have a parker you need that yeah. like it right it made that little 26 footer ride like it was a 32 foot center console uh, i agree i was very and the time to plane and it's w- not that expensive no they're not i mean yeah. I, Again, like I was very, I, I wouldn't even say skeptical. Whatever more than yeah. skeptical was, yeah. that's what I was. Because you see yeah. these things come and go, right? Yeah. And obviously, I love my Seakeeper Gyro, but floored. Absolutely really? yeah. blown no, I, I, away. I, I was the same way. Like on a boat like yours, Ricky, it cut the time to plane in half, and it literally made it ride like it was five, six, seven feet longer. That's yeah. wild. It's totally crazy. Yeah. I, I saw that when it first came out, and I sent it to him, and he was totally skeptical. To- oh, he's yeah. told me, he's like, don't like, get yeah, that. Right. Yeah, 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 exactly. that that will work. 100%. Yeah. And I, like I said, I know all the Seakeeper guys. I love them all. We get along yeah. really, really well. And like, but you still had no problem telling him, like, yeah, man, that's not going to work. Blown. I totally yeah. told him that. Like the, the number two guy there. <laughs> Like he's my buddy. He's, he, he's yeah. been fishing and had yeah. some Modellas on the boat, and he's seen the real me for sure. And <laughs> like, I don't pull punches, as you know. And, and uh, yeah, no, I was like, dude, whatever. What? And he's like, you just got to try it. And I remember awesome. him telling me he was more impressed with the ride in his 28 foot center console than he was with the gyro. Really? And I'm like, and he, you know, he's got no reason to BS me. We're boys, and sure. and. Uh, Absolutely blown That's away. Cool. Yeah, blown away. It's impressive stuff. Yeah. So, um, of course. Uh, 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 uh BD Outdoors uh, still going strong. We're trucking along, man. Yep. I mean, I think like we talked about, the, the ad game is a little tougher than it right. used to be, and we've had to make some changes on our side, but we're still there. Fish Dope is, we had a banner year last year. Thank you to everybody that subscribes to that. We really appreciate Such it. Such an and awesome service. You guys it, kill it. Thank you. Just, it's everything. We, Todd, I, last I'm week, so proud of Todd it. Todd Manser was talking about a new feature mm. uh, on uh, fishdope.com. Thank you, Todd. Some kind of a, yeah, <laughs> some type of a, 
uh, um, of, a, of a water chart or something like that that shows, like, he said it's like game changing. Yeah, technology. so tell us about that. I think he's talking about like our bite zone chart, if I'm not yeah, mistaken, yeah. but it basically shows you where the water is really moving the most yes. and where you are most likely to find that bait. And in fact, we were having a meeting a couple days ago and we were talking about that. I want to catch that on film. Like, I don't know that everybody understands what a gnarly edge looks like. And, and I know you guys have seen them, right? right? You're rolling out there, it's choppy, whatever, and you hit a patch of water that's like really smooth but turbulent and all of a sudden there's birds in it and there's a whale rolling around and you can see it with your eyeballs and I like we were talking about this that's where I mean that's where you can make your money right you find one kelp in there oh it doesn't have fish on it keep working right along that edge and sooner or later you're going to find the dream kelp or you're going to find the tune off to the side boiling I want to get that on a drone shot so you can really visualize you know those currents coming together because I think a lot of guys just run right through that stuff and, and don't know it's there but Man, but fish dope will show you right where they are. It'll show. I mean, within a couple of miles, because the yeah. water's always moving and all that. Yeah, but if you see that really active water, that is most likely where the bait and the life's going to be. That's the thing about fish dope is it is it, it's so underutilized because it's so much more than just. I mean, one, it, it's the greatest thing. This is exactly where the fish was caught the day before. Here's the numbers you can drive to it. But that side is so much more than just that. Like you said, water charts, yep. weather preview, news. Fish Fish regulation change. I mean, it's everything. Like it's it is all encompassing. I think you guys do the best job. And when it started, it was great. Like, yeah, here's where the fish are. But I mean, it, that is a serious, legitimate tool for keeping up to date with what's going on. Yeah, and, thanks. I mean, we'll get you right in the area, and then you know, when it's not where it was yesterday, then you fall back to the chart. You know, and and I'm, you were fishing Albacore right next to us back in the day. Like that that water edge, it was everything. And the bluefin really do do the same thing until they settle in here, and the water gets generic this time of year those sst charts man they're vital for finding totally. those fish and we don't have a lot of coverage right now we know there's fish down there we know they were cooperating pretty good before the storm but it's like where do you start now right not having a report and the, you know always fall back on that sst chart it's uh it's as important as my gyros or my sounder you yeah know? so what is, so how do you learn to utilize all the tools on, on Fish Dope Better? We have some videos that are on the BD YouTube channel. That's a big focus for us going yeah, forward. So um, you know, we have Fish Dope, which covers basically Southern California, and then we have Satfish, which is everything outside of California. Huh? And we don't talk about Satfish a lot in this market, just not to confuse anybody. But for Satfish especially, because, I mean, it is just the tools. It doesn't have the daily report and all that. But it'll put you on the fish, and we're trying to educate people on how to read the water better and i gotta tell you man there's like nothing more satisfying i'm sure you guys have done it you look at a piece of water you watch it for a few days and then you're like okay i know they're in there and you drive 80 miles and slow the boat down and there's the turns there's the way it is the best like you just unlocked a puzzle you know what i mean and it works it works everywhere i use it in mag i use it in sea cortez i use it you know all over the place especially in places where you don't have that fresh info you've just got to rely on what the satellites are telling you and what the water's doing and you know, if you want to level up as a captain, really get an understanding of that stuff. Guys like Todd, guys like Lasley, guys like Pete. I mean, they live and die by those things, fishing Absolutely. in those remote destinations where they just don't have that info. Yeah. Now, did you help your brother last week uh, down at Palmas put on put, get on the fish because he caught all these big dorado? Man, I was in. Did Japan. he help you out? <laughs> I was yeah. busy. No, it didn't need to. It was like two miles off the beach. It was right there. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> it, it was, That's pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah. It was good. Yeah. We caught some snappers and stuff to oh, jig and everything yum. was biting. Keep those snappers up? Yeah, we did them whole. Oh. We, we actually did a 25-pound yellowtail, a 23-pound dorado, and two big snappers for dinner one night. And oh. We had 18 people and they ate it all. Oh That's so my! Yeah. What, did you do it at the at the Palmas restaurant? There? We did. Yeah, yeah. they took it. Uh, the chef Bayview? took it and did everything. Yeah, yeah. Bayview, and uh, did it like five different ways. Oh. So cool. Had did one of the snappers sandiato is what they call it. It's like fried then barbecued. Oh, oh interesting. Wow. It was ridiculous. Oh, that sounds too good. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Oh, I love that one. Chinango. Yeah, oh, yeah. So, so good. good. Yeah. So, what about uh, local knowledge? We're trucking along, man. I we just did a shoot uh, what a month ago, and uh, we got. I think we're going to film here in a couple more weeks. We're going to do. I think the next one we're going to shoot is going to be kind of fun. Yosef's uh, son was on the show when he was about three years old. Yeah. And Russia's son was too. And you know, like I don't know, five years later we just look a little bit more gray, but those kids are totally different people. So I want to try and get him back out on the next one. 
get him out, maybe catch him a yellowtail or something like that. He's got a, a revenge deal, too. All he wanted to do was catch a yellowtail. We took him to the islands, and he got sea lion like seven oh. times straight. It was heartbreaking. All the kid wanted, but he just he was so small, he couldn't reel fast enough yeah. to get it past him, you know? So hopefully we can make that happen, and uh, and I can be a good T.O. again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It would be nice, wouldn't it, Yosa? Yeah, you know, yeah. he's got like this thing with yellowtail. We go out fishing, and he catches everything. Everything but a yellowtail. He still has not caught his own yellowtail. <laughs> so, so he's ready. Revenge. It'll be cool if he gets his first one on TV. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, that yeah, he's caught holding a, out for it. He's caught a dozen tuna, and all I hear about is the yellowtail. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, come on! Yeah, sorry. Like, sorry, buddy. Tuna bigger than he is. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Well, as you can hear, we have a great show lined up for today. A lot to talk about with uh, between uh, all the different things that Ali does, and then of course Yosef with the, uh, the the real estate market and investing and all that good stuff. It, he it, can help you out. It's always such a fun fun show with these two and there's so much cool stuff to cover and I always enjoy it because the, the show goes such different ways and lots of fun and I always uh, I always crack up and this morning certainly no different you know you look at the text come rolling through and you know more than half of them are all concerned about real estate like it's going to be a lot of fun today lots of good fun lots of great information coming your way if you want to join us man we want to hear from you give us a call this morning at 213-432-1090 again 213-432-1090 is the number if you want to give us a call this morning or send us a text and that text the show option so popular here now on Let's Talk Hookup and the only way to send in your text is through the Let's Talk Hookup app. It's a free download whether you're an Android, an iPhone guy whatever you want, just fire up that Let's Talk Hookup, te- or Let's Talk Hookup app you can text the show, you can listen to all the past archive shows, it's a great way to do it and make sure that you include your contact info when you send in the text because we are giving away a killer prize at the end of today's show and if you're the lucky caller or texter that happens to receive that we want to make sure to get it to you. And one lucky caller or texter today is going to win a full one-year membership to fishdope.com. Complete. I think we're going to give one to each. Hey, even better. Uh, I love that. That's one, awesome. One for a texter and one for a caller. Well, there you huh? go. D- double the, double yeah. the incentive. So you, you, Fish Dope guys are getting very generous. <laughs> we're also going to raffle off Pete's car. Yeah, so, there you, go. you know yeah. what I mean? If you're giving away my money, I'm going to give away yours. <laughs> As you can hear, man, we got a great show. So much fun today. So much to look forward to. Again, if you want to join us, 213-432-1090. When we come back, we're going to be taking those phone calls, reading those texts. You're listening to Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice. This is Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. Rock Todd Rick here to tell you about Parker Boats and the guys at West Coast Marine. By now, you all know my boat partner and I bought a new 25 Parker Center console from crew at West Coast Marine in Costa Mesa. We've known for a long time that a Parker was the boat for us. It's a stout, workhorse of a boat built to last and get you home when the seas get rough. Parker Boats at the launch ramp, the offshore tuna grounds. You wake up in the morning on an overnight trip and there they are. Parker Boats of all sizes, fish Fishing in the same areas as the sporties. There's a good reason for it. Fishability and seaworthiness. West Coast Marine has several new Parkers in stock and ready for delivery. And they have more on the way. Don't get caught without a reliable boat when fishing is this good. Take from me, if you're ready for a new Parker at a fair, upfront, and honest deal, you need to see West Coast Marine. Check out the inventory and information at westcoastmarine.com. Day at the Docks is back, and Fisherman's Landing Tackle will have our largest booth ever. Hi, this is Doug Kern. Both in the shop and out in the parking lot, we will feature our huge inventory of rods, reels, lures, clothing, and more, all on sale. The fishing season is here, so take advantage of our inventory and sale prices while you can. Plus, our expert staff at Fisherman's Landing Tackle will help you get all the right stuff. Day at the Docks and Fisherman's Landing Tackle. Take advantage of our great deals Sunday. April 7th. The -the state-of-the-art long-range sport fishing vessel, the Independence, delivers the top quality, comfort, and fishability you look for in a long-range boat. Veteran captains Mark Pisano and Paul Strasser built this incredible 112-foot vessel with the most modern technology and luxurious comfort available. Once you go on the Independence, you'll be back. Call Independence Sports Fishing at 619-226-6006 or check IndependenceSportFishing.com. 
Cedros.com. Hey, this is Rosie with Cedros Sport Fishing. We have always been the leader with all-inclusive fishing trips to Cedros Island. We now have two lodges to choose from and both sit on the cliff's edge with relaxing ocean views and gorgeous morning sunrises. With direct flights departing to the CBX in San Diego, we are committed to providing first-class service to our guests and an unforgettable fishing experience. Come check out the yellowtail and calico bass capital in the world. Nobody does it better than Cedros Sport Fishing. Call me at 619-772-7570 or check us out at cedrosportfishing.com. Book soon. Trips are going fast. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. Having a great time here this morning. Phones already packed up again. If you want to get through, 213-432-1090. All right. Hey, some great times here. And uh, uh, giving away two fish dope. One for a caller, one for a texter. Fishdope.com awesome. annual memberships. Uh, very nice of you guys at Fish Dope. And uh, that gives you access to all those features that we were just talking about. So pretty awesome for sure. Thanks a lot for that. Appreciate that. Ali, and uh, um, a lot going on here. So uh, you have a great text there, Rick? I thought so. This one was from John in Rancho San Diego. It's so cool to hear uh, from both Ali and Yusuf today. Uh, Two questions. Hey, Yusuf, what's going on with the Realtors Commission? I heard about some changes. And then also, Ali, uh, what are your predictions on Yellowfin and Dorado uh, potentials again this summer? So I'll start, I guess. This is the big... uh Big thing everybody's talking about, New York Times put out an article that was pretty much false. Um, The only thing going on with Realtor Commissions is they're not going to publish it. So now when you look online, there will be no commission listed. That's basically it. We've been doing business for the last year at Coldwell Banker West this way anyway. There's new forms that you basically have to submit with an offer that shows that you have a buyer's agreement with the buyer. And then you request the seller pay your commission. The seller can say no, but nobody's going to work for free. Sure, you know, yeah, and right. that it's this really isn't a thing. Um, so you have to separately a uh, contract with the seller. Basically, you have a contract then with the buyer. Then you have a contract with the seller, or you basically send a contract to the seller with the offer, asking them to pay the commission. Uh-huh. That's basically it. Yeah. So. And is it going to stay at six percent, or is it negotiable? It's always been negotiable. It's always been negotiable. Yeah. Just that, what do you see as a standard commission these days? Two and a half per side, usually. Two, two and a half, half to the so listing agent. Basically. Yeah, five percent total. Yeah. You kind of get what you pay for. Yeah. I bet. You know, I spend. I I'm sure you guys have seen my Instagram reels and my videos and stuff. But I spend big money just to get the houses listed. But I run traffic on those houses. Right. More people you run through the house, the more money you're going to get for it. Right. You know, I drive up prices. I get people to to uh, bridge appraisal gaps, you know. Yeah, and that and stuff doesn't come cheap, so. Absolutely yeah. not. You need good marketing, and you need to have, you know, good open houses, and you have to have a good presentation right. and feed it to people do targeted marketing in local areas. So I do within 15 miles of the house, and I hammer people, you know. I'll get 20,000 views in a weekend. Wow. What, what is your Instagram? How do, how do you find that? Like if you're, you know, somebody's out there trying to trying to find that, you know, trying to find listings, how do we... How do we find those reels and, and whatnot? Just go to my page. It's at Cal Realty, C A L R E A L T Y. And just follow me. And you'll see my listings as they come up. When I'm doing flips, you'll see me working on them. Um, if you What's are a interested, flip? flip um, I'll buy houses at a house that's basically they're distressed. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. And come in and fix the foundation and basically make them like new homes uh-huh. and then resell them resell them gotcha yeah. so yeah i've gotten into that over the past couple of years i've done a few of them i've helped a lot of people out um basically make more money on their homes by doing upgrades yeah sure introduce them to contractors and kind of give them design ideas and that kind of thing yeah you've been through this business enough that you know like hey man this isn't going to take a ton but if you do this that and that if you invest this amount of money it's going to return tenfold and it's going to get the house sold. 100%. You've seen the good and the bad of both sides. Yeah, and a lot of times it's like inherited properties. Like I'm doing one in Scripps Ranch right now um, for a good friend of mine that I grew up with. And the house, it was a condo that his aunt left him. But it hadn't been touched in 25 years maybe. Sure. So if he would have sold it, an investor would have bought the thing for like 580 600 something like that. Um, instead, he put seventy grand into it, and we're going to put it up for eight fifty. Yeah, and that's we'll awesome. have nice. Lined up, on, you know, yeah. awesome things. So. And, and I'm sure with that too, you've pr- you've probably seen the other things. I mean, I'm sure you know the investments that a guy might try to sink a bunch of money into that's not going to net him, and you know, not going to net him the money on the on the backside too. Totally. And 
a lot of my clients now are baby boomers that I'm moving out of their little rental homes. Mm -hmm. I'm moving them into like three and four plexes. And I pencil it out for them. I show them, you know, you're making this much now. If you take that money, move it over, you're going to expand your income. And having four doors is way better than one door. If it goes up 10%, it's going up 10% over four doors instead of one. That's cool. So, And you can exchange direct anything under four is considered just normal residential. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Lots of good. and and that's the thing is there's lots of nuances to the real estate game this day these days and you you know you kind of know the ins and outs. Hundred percent. How to make people money. Yeah, that's that's what I try idea. to do, and that's how I get more business. That's yeah, awesome for man. sure. Yeah. Hey, uh, and then the question for Ali. We're gonna have two in Dorado this year. We're gonna have yellow fins in Dorados this year. Uh, dude, I I hate to say it because the bell's rowing so much, but I I mean I would I'll put it out there. I, if we don't have an El Nino this year, I'll be shocked. I mean, everything is set up. This feels yeah. just like 2015, man. We had the wet winter before. We had the wind if by sailors last year. We had all the molas because of that. I mean, the water has been so stable all winter. Totally. We were on cotton in the middle of the winter. It was like 61-degree weather. Jeez. You know, on the local banks or just inside of it. I, I And there's a ton of anchovy. I just ran down, you know, did some running around the other day. I think I, I don't see any way we're not going to have a banger season. We've yeah. heard Frank Lepresti say so many times that like the the bulk body of yellowfin is so much farther up the coast and they would normally expect to see it you know like yeah. or early you know and yeah I mean, in in february in march it was only a couple hundred miles down and 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 biting you know like like it would be in the summertime and that that's just not that far from home it's crazy i mean dude how many times do you hear in, in december we've got buddies out at clemeni that are you know working out there on the island and stuff and they're seeing tuna all around the island wow and in the middle and all, it's just i don't know i think we're i think we're lining up for something special i hope i'm right you know but obviously nobody knows until it happens but i would not be surprised at all if we have a banger el nino season i'm really looking forward to it yeah oh me too that's going to be fun yeah for sure yeah, yeah. once we get through this this hopefully this is the last like major weather incident we've how had. many this times have you said that yeah, to yourself I know, this year? I know. oh my sure. gosh dude, it's uh, my house is going to wash away out there it's <laughs> unreal unreal well let's jump into the phones they're packing up you want to get through here's your chance a line open at 213-432-1090 let's talk to don he's calling us from lakewood this morning don good morning thanks for getting us started here on the phones hey good morning everyone uh ollie uh, uh back on season six local knowledge you and you and russ were in la paz and one day you were uh targeting the uh, dog snappers uh some big big nasty uh dogs uh could you could you expand on what 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 tackle techniques you were using and for what to use down there when fishing for them? Yeah, for sure. That's one of my so favorite fish to chase. Uh, well, the tackle we used on that show was wrong. I'll tell you that. Like, <laughs> I think we were using like a Fathom or a Torque 60, which is a great reel, makes a ton of drag. But those were big pargos. And you're just, you almost have to go into a gold reel if you're going to try to yank some of those bigger ones out of the hole. Um, I always tell people it's like the junkyard dog of the reef. There is no fish more violent. No fish is going to break you off faster it feels like they're going to pull your shoulder or your arms out of your shoulders they just yank so hard and it's not that steady constant pull of a tuna they're just mean and they are very good at getting back in that hole um if and you i think you have them whipped and it's like you ah. don't no you don't i've lost and i mean i've lost a couple of really nice ones I lost a big one in panama i had him 80 feet off the bottom and yeah. then the hook came out because i was pulling so hard on his face you know opened up the hole or whatever it's just an awesome 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 fish. I don't know that there is a tougher, more violent, just crazy For fish sure. to try, even more so than a grouper, you know, trying to get them out of the hole. But if I was going down there, I'd probably be fishing an international 20 with some very heavy leader. They are not line shy. Yeah. Two, feed them 200 pound, 300 pound leader, big, big circle hook. So hopefully you catch them in the corner of the mouth and you can yank them out. A lot of guys like J hooks for them, but I would just rather feed them a little bit longer and let them eat that, that circle. 
Uh, another thing that we've learned over the years is a lot of guys like to feed them like a half a skipjack or a giant piece of cut bait. Yeah. Problem is, is by the time that they get that thing down their mouth where you can hook them, they might already be back in their hole. Right. So a lot of times I like to chum them with those bigger chunks and get them fired up with, you know, with like inch get by inch. Get them away from the hole. Get them up out away from the hole. And then I'm going to send down like a caballito. And they eat it in one bite. Just go, you'll feel it get whacked, and then turn the handle and just pull like hell. As opposed to, they pick that skipjack up. It, I, I only I can say it's akin to is like giving your dog a burrito or something. It's gonna yeah. take him five, five, six bites before he can get that thing bit up to where he can get it down his throat. And that, to me, just saving yourself that two, three, four, five, six seconds gives you so much more opportunity to get him out of the hole. Yeah. That's good info. Good info. Hey, thanks a lot for the call. That does free up two one three four three two ten ninety. I have a great text here from Doug in Paris. He says, "My questions for Ali. First, let me say I'm a big fan of your local knowledge. I've seen every episode." I'm I'm actually watching returns as I listen to the show, which is uh, he's also a big fan of. My question is, out of the places you have fished, what are the most memorable moments? Well, thank you very much, first off, and thanks to everybody who watches the show and supports us. It's been unreal. We really, really appreciate you guys. and love you guys. Nine seasons. That's crazy. Uh, We look back at season one, and we were like, you feel like you were a kid. I mean, I was (laughs) 40 and not 50. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, that's a big jump. Yeah. It's been a fun ride. Uh, I just totally forgot what the question was. Favorite moments of your Oh, favorite favorite fishing that we've ever done. I don't even have to think about it. It was a Great Barrier Reef. Really? It was just like, I love that Cabrilla fishing in the sea. Cortez casting surface lures and watching you know badass fish blow up on it the the the, the north end uh, in the coral sea there of the Great Barrier Reef we didn't see boats for days we went with the nomad guys it was unbelievable I mean That's so rad you dive in and go snorkeling up there you wouldn't see a piece of fishing line you didn't see a beer can you didn't see a piece of rope there's nothing you're looking at Papua New Guinea but you're still in Australia and it is just absolutely untouched it is awesome so cool really I remember cool. you you were talking about those Napoleon wrasses dude still at the top of the I got a little one when I was there didn't even scratch the itch until yeah. I get that big one sitting in my lap like that is so top of my hit list to get one of those big it's yeah. such a bad I on day one I had this black doormat come up out of a rock, eat my popper, and break me off before you could even scream. Yeah. I was just like <laughs> but, uh, uh, but, yeah, gone. They're, they're big. Yep. When I was in Indonesia we got to see them uh, underwater diving, diving with like them. sixty, seventy pounders. So rad. And they're just badass. They are. Yeah. They're so cool. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're beautiful fish. They have a couple of they're big ones big in the Georgia shoulders. Aquarium. Oh, they are strong. I mean they're a ras, right? Yeah. So imagine like a hundred pound sheep's head. Yeah. You know when you hook a sheep's head, you're like, I got a yellow, I got yeah. a yellow, and then uh, just up comes like an eight pound sheep's head to totally embarrass you. They pull hard, man. They pull Really, really hard. And did then, you see any of those giant bump head parrotfish down there? We did. We saw like, them up on the flats. There was tons yeah. and tons of them. And when you're yeah. standing in the water, Those and that whole pack huge. of the parrot, you don't know what it is, but there's a black spot moving towards yeah. you. You're like, <laughs> unfortunately, it's just the parrotfish. They're cool as heck. I know yeah. the fly guys go really crazy for them. Yeah. How could you land one of those? They were fly. I don't know. They weren't. I mean, they wouldn't eat anything. That, you know, because they, they eat yeah. veg, veg, right. they're vegetarians and they eat coral. They eat basically, leaf, yeah. they're hard to hook. But uh, yeah. They were super cool. That was the, the really cool thing. I'm a fish nerd, obviously. The species. So yeah. it's like you show up down mm-hmm. there, right? And we caught every single fish on top water. Every single fish was on top water. And wow. then every other cast, it's like, oh, what's this? What's this? Oh, my God, that's cool. I've never seen one of those. And these aren't like, uh, you know, calico bass versus a set. Like, these are aliens. They were so right. many <laughs> weird species that you so, never saw before, you know? Yeah. So, do, do they still run those trips? Uh, I, Nomad has sold their fishing side, because that's how they started. That's why they yeah. started making the lures, was they couldn't find a lure, you know, strong enough to hold up to what they were doing. They sold that business to another company. So, if you still look up Nomad fishing trips or whatever, in fact, I was emailing with them the other day I got a client who really wants to go down there, and uh, I'd love to get back. I mean, it was it was a special, special place. Really cool. And, I mean, if you want to mix it up and go catch a wahoo, they're right off the reef. If you want to go catch right. a yellowfin, they'll pop up within sight, and you just you know wind in, go go run out to the yellowfin and throw a, a lure at them. You get bored for the day. You want to catch a black marlin, you go trolling. I mean, Jeez, the options are crazy. absolutely insane. Sounds but pretty fun. There's nothing better than a topwater bite, and to catch you know anywhere from 20 to 60 fish a day on topwater. Heavens. That's 
that's it. Yeah, you yeah. get so sick of GTs. If I never see another GT, it'll be too soon. <laughs> they were just an absolute nuisance. And really? once you hook one, it's like hooking a big Jack Creval. You're like, you're going to pain jail. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, not going to be good. So it's, it is. It's an absolutely awesome trip. We've got to fish a lot of great places, but by far, that's the number that's one place it. I've oh. ever fished. Yeah. Well, well, let's jump back on the phones, Rick. You got it, man. Let's talk to Chuck. He's calling us from Dana Point this morning. What up, Chuck? Thanks for joining us. Hey, you guys. I didn't wake up to San Clemente Island with my coffee with Marcus. We got rained out. I was bummed. But it made my day waking up to see the, you guys got the two of these bloody deck guys on deck. You guys do so much for our fishing industry. It's unbelievable. And the, the videos you show, we all live through. But, uh, you know, I live in Marietta now. And uh, thanks to you guys. And uh, the crew you had is just tireless, just like fishermen. You know, Jonathan with my loan, I was stuck trying to get a condo. Ended up in a beautiful home. And I uh, got you to thank for it, Holly. And, you know, Actually, Yosef, Yosef. Yeah, probably my brother. But I, <laughs> Thanks, Chuck. Yeah, I appreciate you I guys. I didn't get a commission yeah, check, so. <laughs> yeah, you didn't? He didn't no, pass not, it along? Yeah, get yeah. commission oh. on that, man. <laughs> and I hope I'm just trying to get a free burrito. <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, I want to thank so you guys. You, so you helped, do you help Chuck, uh, uh, Chuck along there? there? Yep. Yeah, so I yeah. helped Chuck and his wife. We got them out of, uh, they were in a deal on their condo that they were living, or the place they were living in. Yeah. They were trying to buy it forever, and they just got jerked around by some other guy, and I got them out of that. We found them a beautiful home up in Marietta. And Chuck's about as happy yeah. as can be. That's now. badass, man. Right on. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you recommend people like to go I see Yosef? Huh? <laughs> oh yeah. gosh, his All team's right. tired. Uh, so he must have showed us twenty houses, man. And I uh, never got tired of it and got us in. So God bless you guys. Keep up the good work. That's cool. Hey, thanks well, a lot for the awesome. phone Thank call this you. morning. You have a good Thanks, text Chuck. there, huh? Oh uh, yeah, definitely. It says, uh, "Good morning, guys. What a great show! Uh, this always this always has me itching to go fishing when Ollie and Yosef are on." Uh, I have a question for uh, for Yosef. Um, I, I, do you deal in Mexican real estate? I have a piece of property under a fee to comisio, uh, and I was curious about securing the property for more long term, as my fee to comisio is only fifty years. Thanks in advance for taking my questions. Can't wait to hear the rest of the show. That's from Kurt and Vista. Hey, Kurt. Um, thanks for calling in or texting, first of all. Um, I don't do real estate in Mexico, and I honestly don't know a ton about it. Um, when I was down in Los Bariles, I was trying to learn about it a little bit more and how things work. Uh, but if you text me, I can uh, reach out to some agents that are over the border there and kind of get you squared away. That know, You know the people who know. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, I've got some agents. So how do people get a hold of you? Uh, just text me 619-277-2169, or you can get me on Instagram at Cal Realty, C-A-L-R-E-A-L-T-Y. The other cool thing I think you do is uh, is the home evaluate. You want to know what your home's worth? Yeah, you exactly. have that SoCalHomeEval dot com. Yeah. You got it. Yeah, you can uh, pop on to SoCalHomeEval dot com and just put in your address. And I promise not to stalk you, but I will <laughs> send you out uh, an evaluation, just kind of an average idea of what your home's worth. Wow. And if you want and it's to a lot different up, than the last time you were on the show here, I can imagine, right? It is, yeah. yeah. Home prices are going up. Um, as far as comps go right now, it's just starting to go. So they're not going – prices haven't jumped like crazy. Because, you know, we did have two years of a little bit of a slide in San Diego. Here. Yeah. And now we're kind of at the bottom is how I look at it again. And we're going to see as interest rates drop here, the prices increase. Right. So – even though rates are a little high right now, now is a better time to move because you're not fighting as many people for the property. Right. And, and, and you're still it. fighting you're some refi. people, but it gets, it's going to get worse. It's going to get way worse. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's just starting, you know, yeah. and it's going to keep going. I think I gave my loan officer, I think, eight or nine apps just last week. Wow. So it's so, going off. Yeah. Yeah. My yeah. phone's been ringing off the hook. Yeah. So again, your phone number six one nine two seven seven two one six nine. Feel free to text me or get me on Instagram at Cal Realty. That's right. it. Hey, I want to remind you this portion of the show is sponsored by our great buddies over at Dana Landing in Mission Bay. I want to remind you they're going to have the annual summer kickoff sale. It's Saturday, May the fourth. Huge discounts on everything in the store. Some tackles even up to fifty percent off. There's going to be several manufacturer representatives available. 
available on site and some amazing seminars by some of the top anglers. Fast Lane is going to have free kayak demos and products on sale as well. It starts at 7 a.m. with a live broadcast of Let's Talk Hookup. Again, it's Saturday, May the 4th, only at Dana Landing. It's across from SeaWorld and Mission Bay. Check DanaLanding.com for more details. When we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way. More with the boys from BD Outdoors, Local Knowledge, Joseph the Realtor. It's going to be a great show and a lot more coming your way. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Mightier 1090 ESPN Radio. Back in 1979, my parents started Fast Lane Sailing Center. They lived in a VW van in the parking lot and sold catamaran sailboats. And over the years, the shop has evolved. They've sold everything from windsurfers to barbecues, paddle boards, and trailers. Here's the point. For over 40 years, my parents, and eventually me, my brother Jared, and sister Ava, have been in the business of fun and making memories on the water with friends and family. If something's in the shop, it's a product we use, are passionate, and knowledgeable about, and want to share with you. We encourage you to come down to our shop, Fast Lane Kayaking on Mission Bay, and check out our huge selection of Hobie Mirage kayaks, accessories, and more. Now let's get you on the water, fishing with friends, enjoying the coast with your family, or exploring mountain lakes in solitude. In other words, having fun and making memories. When it comes to fishing rods for saltwater, there's just one name you need to know, Calstar. Take, for example, the Graphiter series. It's a true graphite and fiberglass composite rod, the finest that's ever been built. And for anglers seeking traditional performance, durability, and quality at an affordable price, the Calstar West Coast series of rods and blanks are the ones for you. Their master craftsmen bring decades of rod building experience to every rod they make. So if you want your fishing rods to be truly state-of-the-art, I always recommend Calstar at fine tackle stores everywhere. San Diego, if there's one thing we like, it's choices. And with a Ford F-150, you have a range of pickups for any job. With great offers on a full lineup of vehicles and available powertrains, get your ideal combination of power and capability. Whether that job is getting heavy things where you need them to go, getting things done, or going from 0 to 60 in under 4 seconds, tough this smart and capable can only be called F-150. Get ready and go get your own. Visit your local San Diego County Ford dealers today. They'll be glad to hook you up. Great fishing is what Seaforth Sports Fishing in Mission Bay is all about. With free parking and fully stocked tackle shop, Seaforth Sport Fishing is a favorite among anglers. Come aboard top boats like the Aztec, Cortez, Endeavor, Apollo, Outer Limits, Elgato Doe, Pride, Polaris Supreme, Tribute, Pacifica, Pacific Voyager, and the Voyager. Plus, the new Seaforth Sea Watch in San Diego offer the finest half and full day trips available. Seaforth Sport Fishing. To charters or schedule, check SeaforthLanding.com. Run by fishermen for fishermen in Mission Bay. Turner Outdoorsman, Southern California's number one shooting, hunting, and fishing tackle retailer since 1971, is right in your neighborhood. Now with stores throughout Southern, Central, and Northern California, no one does it better. Turner's Outdoorsman brings you the best prices and selection, plus a knowledgeable staff that will help make your day on the water or in the field more fun. Stop by your neighborhood Turner's Outdoorsman. To find the location nearest you, check the web at turners.com and sign up for special deals and more. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. Having a great time here this morning. Again, if you want to get through, give us a call at 213-432-1090. All right. Hey, uh, some great texts coming through and uh, lots of good calls. Let's jump back on the phones. You got it. Uh, well, we're going to talk to Gus. Gus is calling us from Burbank this morning. Good morning, Gus. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Well, in the meantime, why don't we grab a text? Uh, we had a good text. Good morning, boys. I love the idea of the Satfish um, Baja info. Uh, my question is, uh, is the info in Mexico relative real time how long is the delay in the satellites or buoy feed um and can you tell me a little bit more about satfish that's from bob castro hey bob uh thanks for asking yeah the the maps come in when the satellite goes overhead so uh several times a day yeah i mean you're never going to be longer than you know 12 or 16 hours or something between shots and usually it's much more frequently um so all the info down there in baja works great we've used this stuff out of loretto la paz uh, mag bay 
Bay, all over the place. Uh, and buoy data down there, we don't have buoy data, but we do have wind forecasting similar to like Windy. And everybody thinks that Windy and those guys are using buoy data. They may have some of that into their equation, but generally it's government data that we can all access. And then the, the only difference between all sail flow, uh, what's the other one, uh, Surf Surflines deal, what is the, they're, they've got their wind product. Oh, uh, buoy weather. Buoy weather, yeah. And then, yeah. you know. And then there was that new one that, uh, that uh, uh, Todd talked about last. Oh, actually, really? I didn't hear that. Yeah, no, and, and that's pretty good. I looked at it. I, I just I, like I think for what we do here, you know, if I'm looking at just wind, windy works really well, and and our wind, wind data really seems to line up with it. Um, in Florida, though, I don't think it's as good. I think they use sail flow, and it's just how you interpret the data. Right. So we do have all that information, and and most importantly, you know, obviously those that high quality, high resolution SSTs. Some people are on some of those free sites and all that. You're that is a very macro view of the water, and you're, you want a micro view. You really want to dial into that break, especially that temperature break that's going to be over a piece of structure. That's really going to dial you in and get you, you, know, get you in the fish when you can combine those two. You, you've been right, very rightfully so bitching about this crummy weather we've been having. Like, how does yeah. how does the cloud affect things? How, you know what I mean? Like, I know yeah. that there's you can see things through clouds, but it's not as good. Like, give us the rundown. Yeah, that's the a, back the backside. Really good. Good point. The only uh, dissatisfaction we ever get is like new members in, from April to June, especially in Southern California. Sure. We all know about that cold, thick marine layer. So most of the satellites cannot see through the marine layer. So we have some tricks to get through that. We do have a satellite that will look through the marine layer and it will give you a very good general picture, but it's not going to dial you into that super, super tight temp break. So you've always got cloud free SST available. It will definitely point you in the right direction, but instead of being one or two, three miles away, you might be five, six, right. eight, ten miles away. But still, it's you know a much, much better solution than nothing. And then we also do what we call composite maps because a lot of times that cloud cover is not solid and blankets out the whole coast. It moves around like clouds do, and we take various shots throughout the day, three days or five days, and we stitch them together. Uh, that's cool. So we take what we can see when we can see it, and right. we combine it with other areas, you know, and we put it together kind of like if you layered it in a Photoshop app, which is essentially what happens, and we get you the best combination of a few days' worth of charts. Again, not as good as a cracking crystal clear day sure. where we get great shots all day long, but it is the next best thing, and, and it's just one of those things. And that's, that's just automatic on fish. It happens automatic, yeah. It all, and it fished open sat fish. Jeff's got a couple of routines in there where it pulls down the latest maps, it basically grades them, and then mixes them all together, so you're getting the best possible image at that time. Who that's are the cool. guys behind fish dope? We know Danny, of course, and yeah. by the way, happy Happy birthday, Danny! Yep. It's his hey, birthday today. Happy birthday, Danny, bro. birthday, Danny. Danny cool. does the the Danny's kind of the sport boat side of reporting, and then we have Alex, and Alex does a lot of the private boat side reporting, and then all of us, you know, myself, Jason, everybody, we've obviously got our contacts, and, and right. we feed that stuff in, you know, to to the mix, and then Jeff is Jeff's the magic. Jeff's our scientist. We lock him in a dark room. We just kind of slide <laughs> slide burritos, you know, under the door, and <laughs> let him do his thing. But he's really taken ownership of of. Sat fish and fish dope, and he's a PhD, you know, a marine, a marine biology PhD. He's a very smart dude, and he's figured out a lot of the mapping and how to make That's it better. Awesome. And I think that we're the only service that has a PhD and handles our program, wow. who's also a very avid fisherman and an avid diver. And I, you just can't there's on them and do all that you cannot replace somebody who can correlate what you're seeing on a satellite to what you're catching right. what you've seen in past and all that so right. i really feel like we're very dialed in in terms of how that goes whereas some of these other services had a scientist run a routine and it just spits out a map that's honestly not very good that's why i said from the very beginning that that's what separates fish dope from just number gps numbers on a page like it's so much more than that thanks man yeah i mean we really pride ourselves on it you know i mean you've been around for the whole ride. You've watched us build it and grow it, and we take it very, very seriously. We take your comments, your feedback very seriously. A lot of the stuff that our users will come to us and say, dude, you need to be doing this, or this sucks, and this is great. We, I mean, that's direct feedback, and that's how we shape the product. For so, $199 a year. I tell people, look, I don't even care bargain. if you subscribe. It's not changing my tax return. I, I, like, I, it's not. A, but if you own a boat in Southern California, and you don't have an extensive network, or you just want to stay in the loop you year just want to round. Stay in the loop if you're going it. on a sport yeah, totally. boat, yeah, you know? I mean, just all, like pull it up and know. it will tell you, you know, what's going on, where the fish are at, 
What's your best bet? Yeah, we sell them to sport boat guys all the time because they just want to know where it's biting and they want to yeah. get on a boat that's going to go to where. But I mean, so yeah, you know. it's, it's somebody, somebody like going on any of them, whether long range or local. It's like keeps you in the loop. Then you know. Yep, and you've yeah. and especially when you're running your own boat, man. I mean, we talk about it all the time, but fuel, oh, yeah. uh, it's it's going to be. Oh, they I practically mean, giving it away. We haven't even <laughs> we, we haven't even got into the season yet, yeah. and I saw the number on the board the other day was like six oh five a gallon in the water. In yeah. the water. Oh, yeah. uh, this is. Dude, one wrong turn, literally what yeah, thirty five gallons of fuel. You make one wrong, especially in a bigger boat. You know, it, it it pays for itself pretty quickly. And I'm a guy, and I know a lot of the, the top captains on this coast. Like, I want as many arrows in my quiver when I leave the dock. I don't even care what it is. No I'll, doubt I'll, about it. I'll filter some information out that I don't trust. Whatever, give me it all. Let me figure it out. And this is definitely a, a big arrow to carry around. Yeah, for sure. Hey, I have a great text here from Dave in San Diego. He says, "What does you?" Yusuf, think of this recent NAR settlement and the rules that have come out of it. Will it really make the housing market better? I have no I idea don't what think he's talking about. He's talking about that same thing we were talking about that uh, New York Times posted that article about 6% commissions being oh, gone. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's the same deal. It was NAR that was uh, being challenged with this. Aha. Uh-huh. The National Association of Realtors. So it was just like I talked about. Um, we've been doing work this way already the only difference is going to be commissions won't be published uh-huh. and and in california it makes even less difference than a lot of states right um or is it is it the same it's the same you know yeah. california is usually has the tightest restrictions but when something big like this happens so this isn't even going to hit us until july huh. and that's when they're going to start looking into this so We've already been equipped for the last year. They saw this coming down the line to start doing business this way. And like I've sent offers over to people and they're like, what are these forms? You know, just because they're not educated. Right. But that's going to be the proper way to do it. Just like I said before, we're going to have to ask the seller to cover the buyer's contract, the buyer's agreement. So every buyer, the the new thing is going to be when you want to go look for a house, you're going to be hiring me instead of just going to look at a house. I'm going to make you sign an agreement that says if I sell you this house that I'm going to get 2.5%. And you're basically going to Whether be- the seller sell- gives it to you or the buyer gives it to you. Exactly. Yeah. But it's... It, it's not really going to make a difference because the... It's all in the negotiation. Yeah, it's all in the negotiation. Yeah. The buyer doesn't have to buy if they're going to have to pay your commission. Gotcha. So sellers are going to want to give the commission. Absolutely. So they get the deal done. Yeah. They're going to end up And, and they're doing the their... same thing on the side when they list. And when you when you take a listing, you're doing the same thing on the listing side with the No, with the it actually... So that's, that's one thing that I'm going to benefit from this a little bit more because I do mostly listings. Uh-huh. And on the listing side, you have a contract for your listing money. Uh-huh. It's going to affect the buyer side. Gotcha. So now the buyer's got to have a contract, just like a listing contract, basically, that says they're going to get paid. Yeah. Is so. is is it going to benefit the buyer or the seller or the real estate agent? I don't think it's going to benefit anybody. This it's is insane. all over a lawsuit that was a huge stretch. Like they didn't even when they first started this lawsuit, they didn't think they were going to get through it and, yeah. and have the outcome they did. But sure. you know, lawyers and the right judge and things happen, and then everybody is going to follow suit. You're going to see this lot same lawsuit in every state across the country. Wow! And it will have a bunch of paperwork that's just nonsense from a lawsuit. Basically, is how I look at it. Gotcha. So, Rick, you have a great text, huh? I thought so, for sure. This one from Josh and Menifee. Good morning, boys. Great show today. I started using Fish Dope last year, and all the different features and tools have really helped my offshore game. One of those tools that I'm not using is the altimetry chart. Uh, can Ali explain this chart? What is it? How do we use it? And what advantages can it give to us? And that's from Josh and Menifee. Yeah, so altimetry is basically the surface height of the ocean. And, you know, we all think of the ocean, hopefully on a nice day, as flat as a bowl basically or relatively flat the ocean actually has bulges in it where it sticks up like uh, hills and those bulges are caused by currents that are converging together so what I like to do with an altimetry chart is I kind of find, first thing I'm always looking at is SST right sea surface temperature chart I want to know where the rivers of currents are running then after I look at the SST and I kind of identify a piece of water the next
next thing I'm going to do is look at the chlorophyll because sometimes you get a nice warm chunk of water that looks beautiful and you're going to swear the fish are in there and all that, but the water is puke green and a lot of fish don't like that. Now we know our bluefin, you can pretty much throw that chlorophyll chart out the window because like I say, bluefin do not give a you know what about your water temperature or your clarity. They're just going to do what they're going to do. Now they will chase the bait, so the SST is going to kind of tell you where that's at, but I don't stress it too much with bluefin. Yellowfin really like blue water. They don't like being in that green water nearly as much. But um, after I do that, then I would look at altimetry once I've identified an area and see, oh, wow, yeah, the the ocean is really high there, and there's going to be more water moving around, more activity, probably more bait being pushed into the area. And it is like the second or third step in my checklist of stuff before I leave the dock. So that's basically it. When you have when you have those higher altimetry levels, that means that there's more water being pushed around in that particular zone, more upwelling, more currents coming together, and probably more bait. All right. Good stuff. Great there. explanation. Thanks for the text. Yeah, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Cookup coming today, including checking in with the catch report. We're going to find out what's biting up and down the beach and a whole lot more. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Cookup on the Mighty Year 1090 ESPN Radio. I've had the opportunity to fish many places in many different types of water, but never have I fished a place as much fun as Katmai Lodge in Alaska. Hello, my name is Harold Davis, typically fishing in the ocean, but this is an experience that you have to try for yourself. Fish natural rivers with tens of thousands of fish coming up, and they have all the gear, spinning, bait casting, fly rods, kings, silvers, pinks, sockeyes, and my favorite, the chums. Outstanding food, outstanding accommodations, great service. The lodge is located in the beautiful Katmai National Park filled with amazing wildlife. Brown bears, moose, eagles, otters, and it has spectacular scenery. And also the fact that the lodge is located right on the Alagnac River and your boat is just steps away from your room makes it great. Do yourself a favor, call Charmel at 1-800-330-0326 or go online katmai.com. And like Pete says, they will hook you up. All of us at the American Angler family want to express appreciation appreciation to our regular passengers that fish with us year after year and to the new anglers that came out this last season. We realize how precious your vacation time is and we are truly grateful that you have chosen to spend this time with us. It's important that your experience is memorable from the moment you call the office to the time you step off the boat. Hi, I'm Lori. Call me at the office 619-223-5414 or check us out at AmericanAnglersportFishing.com. Come fishing with the American Angler family and make a memory. If it was possible to improve near perfection in a lever drag saltwater reel, Shimano is the company that can do it. Introducing the all new Talica 12A and 16A two speed lever drag reel. These new Talica reels raise the bar of Shimano's flagship reel again with ultra smooth reeling and powerful drag performance to conquer long battles with trophy game fish. The addition of Shimano's innovative infinity drive technology leverages a new drag design to increase drag force and produce produce up to 30% lighter rotation during tough battles. The new generation of Talica now features X-Protect technology to boast high-level water resistance in vital areas. These new Shimano reels feature a Hagani body made of highly rigid aluminum to reduce the reel's overall weight. The palming side plate is an additional 6% smaller than the previous generation. Push the limit. Shimano's all-new Talica 12A and 16A reel, available at your local Shimano dealer. Inside information is everything when it comes to catching fish in Southern California. You need a code group to connect with what's happening on the water. Fishdope.com is your code group. Inside information available at your fingertips seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Fishdope.com really does help you catch more fish and burn less fuel. Fishdope.com is the only fish finding service with a spotter plane, along with a crew of top anglers on the water almost every day that report actual locations and catches. They become your code group. You get daily catch reports from Point Conception to San Catin, 365 days a year. Fishdope.com has online planning tools, temperature and chlorophyll charts, hot bite icons, and more. Take it from me if If you don't have fishdope.com, you're not part of the the in-the-know crowd. Membership is affordable and good for an entire year. Plus, use the special code and save $30 on a new fishdope.com membership. Check it out today. Fishdope.com. Catch more fish, burn less fuel. 